Now in this session, we'll talk about purchase orders. So purchase orders is one of the important uh, document in procurement model. Whenever the organization wants to order some goods or service to the supplier, this document will be raised. It's a legal document. Once we release the PO, then supplier will start working on that particular PO. There are three types of purchase orders. Standard purchase order, planned purchase order, blanket. Sorry, we don't have planned purchase order. Standard purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, contract purchase agreement, BPA and CPA. Standard PO we have. Here we can create purchase orders. Here we can create agreements. Agreements will be created over here. And if at all you would like to go for process the requisitions, it means convert the requisition as a purchase order automatically. So process requisition is one of the feature provided by Oracle to convert your requisition as a purchase order. For example, you have some built-in requisition number and you want to convert that requisition as purchase order, we can do that. Okay. So next, if at all we want to create a new purchase order, we'll do that from here. Let me go for create a purchase order here. Our system is asking the PO procurement BU requisition BU. Who is the supplier? For which supplier you are going to raise the purchase order? Supplier name, supplier site, contact. This is our requisition, sorry, purchase order number. Whenever we are creating the purchase order, information will be entered at four levels. Headers, lines, shipments, and distributions. Header level will be specifying procurement BU, requisitioning BU, buyer, supplier details, bill to location, ship to, total amount, currency. And also terms and conditions. Payment term, shipment method, freight, FOB, notes and attachments, this information. That will be entering at header level. Then we can find lines here, line level, item name, quantity, description, category. Shipment is nothing but a schedule where we have to ship the material, where we are expecting the goods from the suppliers. That will be entered at the schedules level here. We are going to specify. Let's go for enter the item name at line level. I'm going to specify. Let me choose this item name. Doing six items order and each item cost is fifty dollars. Item name, quantity, price, and we can find uh, where the goods are required, location, and other information here. We can find and whether this all uh, six items are same location or any different locations. That's what we are going to specify in the scheduled options. Nothing but shipments. Go to the tab called uh, schedules. And here we'll specify, if required, we can have multiple uh, shipments. Okay, for every line, we can have multiple shipments over here it is. We are going to have multiple shipments here. So I'm mentioning all the six items to the same inventory, 001. And when the goods are required, delivery date. And when the supplier has promised, so-and-so date he has promised. And we are able to see only few columns in the shipments uh, that we have required. All the columns or other columns, we can go to the view menu, columns, this all are at shipment level. We can go for add this. Okay, so now this shipments we have entered. Distributions are nothing but accounting information. So we are going to have this accounting information, whatever the Expenditure charge account we have that we will find here. Charge account. 
We'll also find some other accounts over here. A view menu, columns. We can find variance account, accrual account, and other information here. Right. That will be automatically generated as per the TAD rule. There is a concept called TAD, Transaction Accounting Definition. There is a builder tab, Transaction Accounting Builder. By using this tab, will generate the TAD, Transaction Accounting Definition. According to that, we are going to get the information from this options here. Okay, let's go for save this record. Now this is our uh, purchase order number. Before we go for submit approvals, I just wanted to know which approval document has been assigned. It means is it supervisor or hierarchy or a job hierarchy? We just wanted to know. So click this button, manage approvals. Manage approvals. The moment when we click this button, manage approvals what system is doing here it is showing the information which process has been assigned or which approval group or rule has been applied for this particular business unit we can set up the approvals based on the bu or based on the buyer or based on the purchase order amount it depends on the requirement right now what system is showing applications development framework it means uh, it's out of role. It means it's out of role. Let's go for submit. Submit this document for approvals. Now the document has been submitted for approval. Once the document is submitted for approval, you can wait for a couple of minutes and go for manage orders. Go for manage orders and enter this order number here. We can enter the order number and uh, buyer name. Who has created this particular purchase order? Who is the buyer? So buyer is nothing but an employee who can buy the goods or service from the suppliers who is having authority. So that we have to do that, right? Buyer setup from FSM environment, we'll go to manage the agents and from there we'll do that particular setup. And here we are going to have include closed documents also. For example, if the purchase order is closed, closed means uh, we received the goods from the supplier and we made the payment also, invoice raised for that particular purchase order. So those things we cannot get directly. So you are supposed to select as yes then we'll be able to get it here. Yeah. Now click search button, we'll find what is the purchase order status. Now system is showing this is order number, supplier, and status is open. Open means it's approved, purchase order is approved. And we can find the life cycle of this document. Click on this life cycle, life cycle in the sense, uh, for this particular purchase order, how many items has been shipped, how many items has been received from supplier, delivered, invoiced, complete cycle for this particular order, in transit shipment and uh, receipts information, invoices information, you can find all the details here. But at this point of time, we do not have any receipts or any invoices. Uh, for this particular option in transit shipments. We don't have anything. This is just how we can create a purchase order and then how we can go for approve this particular purchase order. Okay. Here we can find the status. Okay. Thank you.